Luma is an aluminum foil glider with inflated wings. Its wings are made from regular kitchen foil, taped together with double-sided tape, and then inflated. I created Luma because I wanted to build a hydroformed airplane and needed a way to make early prototypes cheaply. Because usually, designing an airplane involves a lot of this. Cheap prototyping lets us learn quickly what works and what doesn't, and doesn't, and doesn't, so it helps to have the failures just be made of some aluminum foil. Like all stories, this one starts with a burrito. This was my first inflated aluminum foil structure. I made it when my friend asked me about hydroforming a whole airplane. He was thinking it might be cheaper than a classic aluminum or fiberglass. Hydroforming is when you fill a sealed metal structure with water to get it to deform. Usually you need the metal, pressure washer, and a welder. I was going to buy it all, but it seemed expensive for a one-off experiment. I gave myself some time to think, and it came to me that I could use the cheap aluminum foil in my kitchen as a design step before going to hydroforming. Using this new foil and air technique, I had a bunch of failures, but there were three interesting paths. First was this one that really tried to follow an airfoil shape, but it was a lot of work taping them accurately, and I didn't have faith that the wing wouldn't bend a lot. Second, I looked at making a wing out of a lot of tubes, but it was really hard to get the tubes sized and connected in the right regions. And then I tried to make a structure that would be easy to fill all at once. It looks really cool, but I didn't want this curve. By doing all these experiments, I arrived at Luma. Luma has one inflatable structure composed of two opposing cones. This has the side effect of making a Klein Fogelman airport which is a type of geometry where the wing has a large structure, in this case our cones, and then changes to a flat wing. A pocket of slow air recirculates in the area behind the obstruction, allowing the rest of the air to flow over more smoothly. The plane needs its center of gravity to be a little in front of its center of lift, so I moved a packet of cardboard around until Luma was balanced enough to fly. Otherwise, the flights look like this. Disaster zone. And with the proper center of gravity, they look like this. If you like this, please support me on Patreon. And thanks to my wonderful patrons, Travis Stotter, Delete My Sins, George Hampton, Ian Johnson, and Matt Perez. Welcome all of my new patrons, and thank you. Amazingly, a cursory examination on YouTube didn't lead to any videos where people were making aluminum foil balloons with tape as a craft project. I did find this advert for a Mylar heat sealer and evidently, that lady thought this balloon was naughty and deserved a vigorous spanking. However, inflatable planes do exist. Back in the 50s, Goodyear made the inflatable planes potential scouting or rescue view. The military did some trials with them. They had a special material with connected nylon batting that held tension between the top and bottom surfaces, allowing them to create stiff and supportive inflated structures. NASA and the University of Kentucky made prototypes of inflatable wings hoping to have them fly down from the upper atmosphere for research into Mars flying vehicles. There is also a Swiss company that made a plane called the Whoopi Fly. This plane inflates its wings on the ground and maintains their inflation with four pointing ducts. If you lose power, you can still have an inflated wing by taking in air as you fly forward. Hi, I'm Adrian Perez and this is Luma. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I uh, am probably going to make this in rips up nylon in the future and uh, sew it, but it'll also still be inflatable. And then I think I'll also try doing a little bit of jet power in the form of inflating a, uh, a soda bottle as a pressure vessel and then popping the end with a little mylar sheet there so that I can get some jet propulsion. Thank you and take it easy on yourself.